Hello everybody, I'm Captain Mikey, this is Captain of My Shed, and welcome to episode 2 of the Great Guitar Build-Off series. Um, today, we're going to make some templates, we're going to put a truss rod into the neck, we're going also to cut the fretboard, cut the fret slots, and there's also a beautiful inlay going into the fretboard. I'm excited about that. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do it all, but if you want to see how it ends out, how it ends up, how it turns out, either one, keep watching. Smooth it all down. There we are. First uh, part of the template done, which is the exterior shape. So a couple of little bits to work on, that's fine. Nothing mega. Take me a few minutes with the sandpaper wrapped round the tube. Now though, we're looking at the uh, truss rod. So always test it, just in case um, whoever put it together did a shoddy job. But basically, turn it one way, you can see now we're getting a nice flex in that top bar. Obviously the neck's gonna to wanna to do that when you put some string pressure on. So the way I've just done it there would help you straighten that out or even give you a little bit of back bow. There we go, you can see it's bending the other way now. And that would help you bend the neck forwards. So anyway, that's what we're doing today. We're fitting the truss rod. I've also marked on this piece of tape here the, um, the outside of the cutter, which is uh, just over 6 mil, 6.3 I think, and also the center line of the cutter. Now I can line that up, once I transpose these marks onto the back, here, and then at the bottom end of the cut. So yeah, transpose those marks, I suppose. I suppose, transpose, I suppose. I've also measured out the center of the whole neck there, and lined it up with the center of the cutter. The truss rod slot is done. In fact, ooh, ooh, at the end there, it wants to be a tiny bit wider. So it does. We're talking probably less than a millimeter either side. Here we go, that's one side done. That went pretty well, um, considering I'm just using a, a spirit level as a router fence. Gotta work with what you got, right? And does it fit? It fits an absolute treat. There's a tiny bit of rattle there. Perfect. Now, there's no rattle whatsoever. It's held nice and firmly top and tail. That's in, that's good, that's gonna work.
I'm laughing because I've I've got a like a a cheapo tripod and like a what do they call it? It's like a cage that holds my cheapo phone. Everything's cheapo, uh, and it came with this little um, remote. I'm supposed to be able to go click, and it starts recording. And I find myself just clicking and getting closer and closer until eventually I may as well just go push the button. Useless. That's interesting. So, where it was lining up absolutely perfectly, it is now not. It's about a millimetre out down at the 22nd, uh, down at the 21st fret. And that is not good, man. I'll have to use this to cut the frets. And in place of having a nice big belt sander, I've, I've got this. And it will help me just take out the marks that were left from the um, routing exercise. Looky dokes, pretty nice smooth flat finish there. Um, always a good idea is to have a little, little pot like this. I don't know, this was a mango chutney pot from the local takeaway. So thank you very much, mint and mustard. Collect this ebony dust. If you mix it with regular wood glue, it, uh, it helps you hide any seams if you're gluing two dark woods together. And the other thing is if you've got like a crack or a gap in some inlay or something, you can just sprinkle this dust in there, drop a little bit of thin CA glue or super glue on top, and you filled in your your gap. It'll be near invisible. Right, cutting the uh, the fretboard. I've, um, I've thicknessed the neck properly now. It's pretty much got its rough shape. It will have some binding on it. Um, I actually stuck the binding on before cutting the frets, which is a bit special. So I took the binding off. My son and my dad have made together a few little bits and pieces in the shed that um, in, in my dad's workshop that my son was very kind and has donated to the cause. So they made this piece together and I think it's gonna make an excellent 12th fret inlay there. Well, wherever the 12th fret is. So the other thing we've gotta do is mark the frets out. Um, so yeah, thank you very much, Heike. Much appreciated, dude. It's gonna look awesome and you've got a little stake in this now. this little doohickey. I think it'll look really nice in there. It's gonna pick up the pattern that I'm putting into the top of the guitar. So it's kind of a big bit in the middle, but I think it'll work. I think it'll look really nice. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do now. Oh, the glue's dried on that. It looks a bit messy now, but once it's sanded down and, and there's a couple of little gaps to fill with a bit of uh, glue and wood dust, it's gonna look awesome. Next thing is to cut the frets, the fret slots. 
and um, this is probably about the most simple approach I've come up with. Well, I haven't come up with it. The most simple approach I've seen and I've sort of adapted it. Japanese style pull saw. MDF block. I've cut a slot in here which will help guide the saw. Now, the only other thing is depth. I tend to just get a little bit of tape, a little bit of uh, masking tape even, and stick that here. Tape's on. I just thought of something, an error I'm about to make. If you cut your fret slots to exactly or just over what your fret tang is, and then you put a radius on the fretboard, which I intend to do, the edges of your fret slots are going to reduce in, in depth. That's not ideal. So I'm probably going to give it an extra millimeter and uh, I can afford it, there's, there's material to use there. So I'm gonna put a new sticky on and we'll start again. So you can watch me do the last few. Okay, one final task is to, um, I've kind of sanded that back a bit, I've sanded the glue off the top of it, and it, you can see it's going to look really nice, but a little bit of a gap down this side here, um, up over the top, a couple of little spots, so I'm going to fill those in now. So let's see if we can get it working on this. Now, ideally you have a nice little pipette to do this job. You can see it leaking into there really nicely. And there you go. You can see, um, well you can't see really. That's where the gap was. They've just sanded it back a little bit. It's going to have a final sand, obviously, and much higher grits later on, but just to give you an idea of how effective that method is, I think that looks pretty awesome. It's going to look spectacular with uh, the binding on and the frets in place. It's going to look brilliant. All right. Uh, thanks very much for watching. It's only episode two of the great guitar build-off for, for my channel. Um, I total episode 11, I don't know, 10, 11, I'm not sure. I'm losing count. Anyway, um, what have we actually achieved in the last couple of days? Well, it's been mainly templates and getting templates done and a little bit of work on the neck. So, we've got the, the main sort of shape of the body. It's basically a Telecaster sort of shape with uh, a little bit of a cut out here on the on the horn just to give it a bit of interest it'll look really nice when I do what I've got planned with it and uh, so that's done I've got this pit guard sort of cut out and this will be um, it's an inlay template and I've said to you already I'm going to show you how I plan on using this. It's going to be quite good fun that. I'll, it's, uh, again, some, a lot of things I've never done before. That's one of them. We got a truss rod slot routed into the neck. We made sure it fits nice, no rattles. <laughs> this is quite a big deal as well. Well, I find it a big deal because I don't really like doing the, the fret slots. We got the fretboard slotted up and a lovely little inlay here on the 12th fret. Uh, that's worked out really nicely. This is ready for binding now, and then we can start looking at radiusing it and then gluing it to the neck. Happy days. So that's it. Pretty productive few days. Peace out, people. Have a lovely week, weekend, whatever it is, by the time I've got this posted. And uh, 
Enjoy yourselves. Bye.